सो है फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सी एन आई एटी सेवन हंड्रेड एस एल एम एस एल एम स्टैंड फॉर द सर्विस लाइन मॉड्यूल यू कैन सी एयर दीज आर द डिफरेंट एस एल एम यूज इन सी एन आई टी सेवन हंड्रेड विच इज एट स्लॉट मॉड्यूल और टेन स्लॉट मॉड्यूल और फोर स्लॉट मॉड्यूल सो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इन डिटेल अबाउट द एस एल एम सर्विस लाइन मॉड्यूल हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ सर्विस लाइन मॉड्यूल वॉट आर द पोर्ट्स इन साइड दियर एंड वॉट आर द फंक्शन ऑफ दैट एस एल एम सो लेट्स बिगिन so uh, before starting that we just need to know led operations of slm service line module ctx or and sm included so you can see here these are the different service line module which have the common led status that is act maintenance and fault uh so the ctx sm pslm cslm modules in the 8700 switches have light emitting diodes to indicate module status So these are the three LEDs. One, two, three. You can see in the big picture. This is one, two, three. Act, maintenance, and fault. So different LED have the different indication and different meaning. So if the fault is red, it means there is a fault inside the car. MNT maintenance. That is the yellow sign. And act activity is green. If it is green, everything is okay. If maintenance light is yellow, it means there is some maintenance activity. That is loop back or loop on any port is there. so slm card number one glitch you can see here so these are the again the different service line module you can see here this is pslm 220 pslm 202 cslm 202 pslm 680-8 pslm 400-31 you can see here this service line module and different service line modules meaning and the port inside every card like example pslm 680-8 has six cross QSFP 28 port and two cross QSFP plus ports, or you can say there are six port having SFP QSFP 28, and there is two port having QSFP plus ports. So let's begin for the meaning of this nomenclature. What does it mean by PSLM 200-20? So you can see here this is PSLM 200-2, and this PSLM 200-2 has two cross 40 GB. And 100 GB CFP port. So, what does the first four digit meaning? So, the first four digit meaning the name of the card. That is Photonic Service Line Module. And the second three digit it means the maximum capacity of phase plate. Means maximum capacity of this circuit pack, or you can say this is this card. And this is the number of port in the card. So PSLM 200-2 it means this is the photonic service line module which has the maximum capacity of 200 Gbps and which has having two port. These two ports can either have 40 Gb or 100 Gb. In the same way, if you are talking about PSLM 680-8, this is again the photonic service line module having the maximum capacity of this circuit pack is 680 Gb and there is a eight port. And uh, what is that eight port? That eight port. Is six cross QSFP 28 means six port is QSFP 20 and two port is QSFP plus port. So basically, this indication, this nomenclature describes about every card, the name, capacity, and the number of port. So these all about these all are the PSLM is for any service line module and this CSLM. CSLM stands for the coherent packet service line module. So we are talking about the SM switching module. So there are two types of SM: SM and SMHD. The difference between these is the capacity and the line module rate is increased if if you are using SM and SMHD. So if you are using the SM, there is a less capacity or less line module speed, and if you are using the SMHD. The capacity and the line speed is increased. So you can see um, the difference between these two cards in the my previous video that is about 8700 four slot view. So let's talk about the SM. So SM is the switching module. The SM provides a packet switching fabric 2.27 terabyte per second for the 8700 switch and works in combination with the CTX module to provide 2 plus 1 switch fabric redundancy. And they are hot swappable. So if there is a card or switching module is faulty, you can just replace it by pulling it out and insert it the new card. CTS HD control timing and switching module. 
so again this is there is a two type of ctx this is the ctx and this is the ctx hd and the difference between them is similar like the smhd so ctx module serves as a central system controller for the 8700 switches while also performing the network timing synchronization and switch fabric 2.27 terabyte per second function they are typically deployed in a redundant configuration providing 1 plus 1 control redundancy and 2 plus 1 switch fabric redundancy. They are again the hot swappable so if there is a faulty there is a fault in the CTS card you just need to replace only the CTS card not the complete module. So you just need to pull out the faulty card and insert the new one. List of service line module. So you can see here this is the different type of service line module. So PSLM 220, the PSLM 220 has 21 GB or 10 GB SFP, SFP plus port. PSLM 200-2, this card or this circuit pack has two ports of 40 GB or 100 GB. CSLM 202, this card or circuit pack you can say have 200 U024 wrap port. PSLM 680-8, this circuit pack or this card has six port of QSFP 28 and two cross QSFP plus port. PSLM 400-31. So PSLM 400-31, this card has 30 port of SFP or SFP plus and one port of QSFP 24, 28 port. So now this is the PSLM 220. You can see here in the PSLM 200, you can see here there are 20 port of 1 GB or 10 GB SFP plus port. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And this is the three LED indications. You can see here the first, the upper port, the upper ports are the odd ports and the lower ports are the even ports so PSLM 200-2 has a 200G face plate and non-blocking fabric access capacity for all packet size there are 20 small form factor pluggable SFP or SFP plus UNI or NNI port you can see here these ports can be configured as the UNI or NNI port each port with a tricolor LED to indicate the status of the port there are three PSLM status LED fault maintenance and activity which have which we have already discussed these about these three active these three LEDs. The SFP and SFP plus UNI NNI ports are up to 21 GB 10 GB PSLM 200-20 has packet traffic processing capability of full duplex line rate on all 20 ports. PSLM 200-20 support LAN based SFP plus interfaces operating at 10.3125 Gbps and LAN based SFP interfaces operating at 1.25 Gbps. Any combination of approved SFP plus or SFPs are supported. So this is the PSLM 200-2. You can see here this is the physical view of PSLM 200-2 card. There are two ports. You can see here this and this. This is the port 1. This is the port 2. So PSLM 202 has a 200G face plate and non-blocking fabric access capacity for all packet sizes. There are two C form factor pluggable CFP. So you can see here this is the this is the two SFPs inside this SF uh, face plate. Or you can see on in PSLM 200-2 circuit pack. Each port with a tricolor LED to indicate the status of the port. And there are three PSLM status LEDs for maintenance and activities. The CFP UNI or NNI ports are up to 200 GB or up to 240 GB. So you can configure either this port as a 40 GB or 100 GB. PSLM 202 has a packet traffic processing capability of full duplex line rate on all ports. The PSLM 202 port support any combination of 40 GB and 100 GB CFP transceivers in any ports. So you can put a 40 GB or 100 GB transceiver in any one any any port you can see you can insert 40 gb SFP, cfp or 100 gb sfp either in port 1 or port 2 any combination of approved 40 gb and or 100 gb cfps can be used in any ports you can see here this is the pslm 200-2 this has two cross 40 gb or 100 gb cfp ports 
so next is the CSLM 202 you can see here this is the physical presentation of CSLM 202 so this is again there is a two port CSLM 200-2 has again the 200G face plate and non-blocking fabric access capacity for packet size 202 has a packet traffic processing capability of full duplex line rate on all the ports the CSLM 202 supports up to 200 GB UNI or NNI ports. On CSLM 202, there are 200 GB are delivered by means of two fixed non-pluggable optics LC connector ports. So you can see here these ports, these SFP or you can see this the, the optical module is fixed and you cannot replace it. This is non-pluggable means if this port is faulty you need to change the complete CSLM 200-2 module each 100 GB is framed in OT and OT4 and mapped to the DWDM line using an integrated WaveLogic 3 nanotransponder and tuned, on, tuned onto wavelength in the 50 GHz or 100 GHz rate so you can see this line module and this 100 GB is uh, inserted or uh, changed in OT4 and used in the DWDM line each CSLM 202 port has a tricolor LED for each port to indicate the status of the port and there are three CSLM status LED green, yellow and red that is active, act, maintenance and fault. So this is the PSLM 680-8 you can see here this is the port numbers port number is starting from left and uh, from 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is the port 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You can see here this is the PSLM 688 card and this is the uh, LED indication for this card. So this is the 6 port and 2 port. Combination of 6 port and 2 port. So 6 port is the QSFP 28 port and 2 port is QSFP plus port. You can see here these two ports is 40 GB and these 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is either 40 G or 100 G. So PSLM 680-8 high density has a 680 G face plate and non-blocking fabric access capacity for all the ports, all the packet size when three switch fabrics are present, two CTX HD and one SMHD. So this complete capacity can be achieved by using the three switch fabric present when these three switch fabric is present that two CTS HD and one SMHD. There are two 40 GB QSFP plus ports and six 40 GB or 100 GB QSFP plus port. So you can see here these two ports first and second port is fixed for the SFP QSFP plus port that can be configured to the 40 GB. These two ports cannot be configured as a 40 GB, uh, 100 GB and the other the six ports, the other remaining six ports uh, starting from 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 can be configured as a 40 GB or 100 GB and that is the QSFP 28 UNI or NNI port. Each port with a triangular LED to indicate the status of the port and there are three PSLM status LED for maintenance and activity. The QSFP plus and QSFP 28 UNI NNI ports are up to 8 40 GB, up to 6 100 GB and 2 40 GB so this is the combination this is the 8 port combination we can use so you can use all the 8 ports to the 40 GB or 6 port 100 GB and 2 port 40 GB PSLM 608 has packet traffic processing capability of full duplex line rate on all ports the PSLM 680-8 port supports any combination of 40 GB QSFP plus in the 40 GB QSFP plus port and 40 GB 100 GB QSFP plus or QSFP 28 transceiver in the 100 GB port. So the meaning of saying this statement is you can either put 40 GB in uh, both the ports and in the remaining port you can either put 40 GB or 100 GB. So next is the PSLM 400-31. So PSLM 400-31 has 30 port of SFP at SFP plus and one port of QSFP 28 port. You can see here. So 1, 2, 1, 3, 5. So the upper ports are the odd ports you can see port 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, 29. And the low ports are the even ports port 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 
12, 14, 16, 18, 20, port 22, port 24, port 26, port 28, and port 30. And the port 31 is fixed for the QSFP 28 port. So PSLM 431, this is again the high capacity because it has a 400G face plate and non-blocking fabric access capacity for all packet size. There are 30 ports is fixed for 1GB or 10GB SFP plus port and one port is fixed for the 100GB QSFP 28 ports. And these ports is, can be configured either with the UNI or NNI ports. Each port with a tricolor LED to indicate the status of the port. And there are three PSLM status LEDs that is fault, maintenance, activity. So these are all about the SLM and different types of SLM which is used in CN8700 switches. So thank you.